There are so many films, Hollywood films being made here these days. I asked a guy from Profs to come to talk about his work, but every Profs man in Iceland is currently on location making Thor 2 <laughs> in uh, some volcano somewhere, no doubt. Generally, the unique landscape and accessibility of the unique landscape is something that attracts them. Uh, but recently, it's been the uh, tax break, the 20% rebate, and, um, and our currency, cheaper currency, that's sort of been the main attraction, I would say. Although, uh, last year on Prometheus, and um, this year on Oblivion, uh, the, the Tom Cruise film, and the Noah, the landscape was very specific. This kind of a volcanic landscape you mentioned. And that was the main attraction, and not many places in the world have this kind of a scenario. Uh, but, uh, few, you know, they go to Tenerife for this kind of a volcanic landscape, but it's it's not as expansive landscape and as accessible and, um, and, and a deeper pool of proof, mm. for example. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, you know, it's like we did, we just finished filming last week on uh, Ben Stiller's film, mm. where he's, uh, direct, which he's direct and, uh, and he's the lead actor. And we did Iceland for Iceland. And then we did uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan. You know the path of, yeah, path of the Himalayas. We did that part portion here, and um, and then we did Greenland. Uh, you know what was supposed to happen in Greenland. We dressed the village here and used the glaciers as the background, etc. So it's um, it has this kind of uh, you know you can create few different terrains or 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 uh, you know different <coughs> countries. You know like the Himalayas. You don't have to get acclimated limited to the uh, to the air it's right there on sea level so um, things like that and um, accessi accessibility is very important as well uh, I had a guy here last week that said he did a live a location guide for live the movie alive which was supposed to happen in the Andes and he said only if I should have known about Iceland beforehand because there was a lot of altitude sickness because they had to be above tree level because they were in the Alps. And he said, we could have shot that all here without any problems with, uh, with altitude sickness or, or anything like that. So, so accessibility is, is huge, huge. And few travel days. Travel days are expensive. And in Iceland, you get um, locations that are close to each other. So you have uh, less of travel days than, than you would normally els elsewhere. It's uh, the accessibility, the infrastructure is very solid and reliable. Uh, most of the sceneries are within one or two kilometers even from the main road. Uh, and uh, there's not much that disturbs uh, the view or the picture because uh, uh, so little part of the country is habited because of the, the small size of the nation and the film funds. It, people have always been forced to co-produce uh, so there's uh, in the, the in the filmmaking culture here. It's uh, about uh, flexibility, collaboration, listen to your, what your partner thinks, reacting to it, not necessarily accepting it. But uh, there's this constant uh, flow of uh, different views and, and information and different angles and experience. If you need something in Iceland, it's usually uh, a phone call away, and we can get it to you within six hours if it's on in the country. That's also a key factor, I think, for uh, big productions looking for a location because um, all buildings are f uh, with proper fire alarms, escapes and uh, exits and so on. All cars in the streets are also checked uh, on an annual basis. So everything kind of, uh, all the disasters uh, everyone wants to, uh, avoid are, well, there are better chances well of avoiding them here than in so many other cheaper countries. Mm -hmm.
the, if the weather behaves, yeah. If the yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, of course, the, the weather is the, the only the wild card. You know, having rocks through the, through the window of the car is not. The, um, but it's uh, I, I think it's uh, quite an important factor also that um, everything, all, all the prices you see wherever, everything is included. There are no envelopes. Um, you don't have to negotiate on, on each and every one, so every, it's, it's quite clear and accessible. There is no hanky-panky in Iceland. There is no money under the table. There is. The price that you're given is the price that you're going to have to pay. I mean, uh, like if you go to Greenland, you order the hotel room, and they might call you four days before, and they say, I'm sorry, but the hotel rooms have uh, risen, the, the price of the hotel rooms have risen uh, 40%. What are you going to do? There is nothing like that in Iceland. You have to decide when you want to come to Iceland. You know, if you if you come in the autumn time or in the spring, the weather can be flaky. But if you come in in dead of winter or dead of summer, we can give you uh, winter and summer. It's pretty uh, pretty reliable in the in the summertime in in the dead of winter. I've been in I frozen ice lake in February when we did the Bond film. And we filmed for three weeks, and we were held up one hour due to weather. On Flags of Our Fathers, we filmed um, the Clint Eastwood film, the battle sequence. We filmed five weeks. We had to move inside for one day over, over the course of five weeks. So, in general, that's you know that's been you know it, it behaves you know in a way. And sometimes they use the weather. I, I, yeah, exactly. I, I remember on uh, Batman Begins they. They just loved the wind, and they just filmed in the wind, and that made the scene basically where he's walking up to the uh, sort of the Himalayas at sea level. On Game of Thrones, when that was done, um, they played with the weather. The script is we need bad bad weather and we need good weather, so you play with the weather. I don't rec recommend fighting the weather, you know, doing something in the weather that that you shouldn't. And uh, if you come to Iceland, please have a, a an Icelander with you. And especially people here are used to work in the, uh, you know, in these kind of uh, sometimes extreme environments. You know, we <coughs> are used to the weather and the elements. So that's, you know, that makes an Iceland crew member. It's, you know, they, and uh, all the reviews we get is just top notch people, great people. Uh, like Tom Stern, uh, who shoots all the Clint Eastwood films. He said, it takes a lot to make an Icelander complain. <laughs> Russell Crowe said, you must dominate the weather. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that was his words. Yeah. Yeah.